Do you know how fast you are moving through space right now? What if we tell you that you travel 1.6 million miles, that is 2.6 million kilometers every day? Sounds unreal, right? Well, today we will uncover how crazily Earth is moving through space. And just so you know, it's way beyond just a rotation and revolution. Living on this planet makes it quite natural to perceive our existence as grounded and motionless. The mundane routines of daily life hardly point our attention toward the Earth's real movement through space. Without realizing that we are unwitting participants of this giant-scale cosmic travel, we remain in the notion of a deceptive stillness. But in reality, we're actually hurtling through the vastness of space at incredible speeds. The Earth is moving through space way faster than it appears. But how did humans get to know in the first place that Earth is moving through space? Well, we will have to dig into some history to get to the roots of our current understanding of Earth's motion in space. In the early days of studying the cosmos, ancient astronomers pitched a concept where Earth was seated at the universe's epicenter and was indeed a VIP. They considered it to be a geocentric setup. In this setup, the sun performs its daily show of revolving around us to bring about sunrises and sunsets. This theory extended to the motion of the moon as well as the planets. They too were considered to revolve around Earth. However, there were many hitches in this theory. One of them was the back and forth motion of planets in the sky. At times, planets were seen reversing their trajectory in the night sky before resuming their way forward. Today, this celestial shuffle is known as retrograde motion, which is nothing more than Earth trying to catch up with another planet in its orbit. Humans also began to consider that we might not be the center of everything by paying attention to something called parallax. Parallax is when the position or direction of an object seems to change depending on the position you're looking at it from. It's like when you look at your finger held up in front of your face with one eye at a time. Well, you may try it. Close your right eye and look, then close your left eye and look again. Notice how your finger seems to shift a bit. That's because your eyes see it from slightly different angles. The same idea applies when we look at stars from Earth. It takes us about a year to go around the sun, so if we gaze at a star that is not too far away from us in the summer and then check it out again in the winter, its position in the sky seems different. That's because we're looking from two different spots in our journey around the sun, and that changes our view of the star. It is because of these anomalies that Earthlings concluded that our blue planet is indeed moving through space. Now the next question that enters here is how fast are we moving on this blue planet? What if we tell you that from January 2023 to January 2024, you have traveled more than 900 million kilometers? Don't believe us? Well, let's break down how scientists reach these jaw-dropping numbers. Let's first start with Earth's orbit around the Sun. Earth completes one full orbit around our fiery fireball in about 365 days. And though our path around the Sun is an elliptical one, we will keep things simple and consider it as a circle for now. The distance from Earth to the Sun is called an astronomical unit, and it's about 92,955,807 miles, or 149,597,870 kilometers, according to the International Astronomers' Union. If we do some maths for the circular circumference that Earth traces around the Sun, it turns out we travel about 584 million miles, which is 940 million kilometers, in one year on this big blue planet. Speed is the distance traveled over the time taken. So we use this distance of 584 million miles and divide it by the time it takes for that one full trip, which is about 365.25 days. Now, to figure out how fast each day is, we further divide it by 24 hours, which gives us the result that Earth travels about 1.6 million miles, or 2.6 million kilometers, a day. That is 66,627 miles per hour, or 107,226 kilometers per hour. So yeah, Earth is indeed zipping around the Sun at a whopping speed of near 67,000 miles per hour, 
which is 30 kilometers per second. To put it in perspective, that's like traveling from Rio de Janeiro to Cape Town or from London to New York in just about three minutes. Unbelievable, right? You might be watching Netflix the whole day, and yet you travel around 2.6 million kilometers every single day. And this is just the beginning of our planet's travel itinerary. If you think the sun keeps sitting still all this while, we will have to burst that bubble too. The sun is not at all chilling in its place. Our big fireball has got its own orbit in the Milky Way. And this motion around the galaxy happens at a crazy speed of 447,000 miles per hour, which is 200 kilometers per second. That's a super speedy ride through the Milky Way. Our sun is about 25,000 light years away from the center of our galaxy. And the Milky Way galaxy is a massive 100,000 light years across. According to researchers at Stanford University, we're situated about halfway from the center. So though the Sun and its solar system buddies are together moving at a speed of 448,000 miles per hour, it still looks seemingly slow in comparison to the vast expanse of its orbit around the galaxy center. What we mean here is that even at such a fast pace, it would still take our solar system around 230 million years to complete one full loop around the Milky Way. And guess what? Our galaxy isn't sitting still either. Like others, it is also moving in space, relative to other galaxies. So our planet, besides its orbit around the Sun, takes part in yet another adventurous journey with the Sun. And that is the grand swirl around the dense center of our galaxy. We know that's a bit too much to process, but on the grand scale of the universe, it's actually nothing. It's time we come back to our solar system now. We are still not done with all the aspects of our movement through space. We are yet to discuss how fast Earth is moving compared to its planetary buddies in the solar system. Are you with me? Okay, so in a circular orbit with the Sun, how fast you move depends on how far apart you are. And the closer you are to the Sun, the stronger the gravitational pull becomes, and the faster you move. Now, Mercury is the closest to the Sun, which makes it the fastest orbiting planet. It's racing around our star at an unbelievable speed of 105,000 miles per hour, which is 47.4 kilometers per second. That's 1.6 times faster than Earth. No wonder why a year on Mercury lasts just 88 days. Well, on the other side of this space speed spectrum is Neptune. This gas giant likes to move at a leisurely pace. It orbits the Sun at only 18% of Earth's speed. That's 12,200 miles per hour, or 5.4 kilometers per second. You can say that Neptune likes to stroll while Mercury loves to sprint. So, each planet has its own groove. They all spin at different speeds around the Sun. All the cosmic masses are grooving and moving through the vastness of the universe. And it is this spin that space agencies take full advantage of. They are pretty smart, you see. Space agencies make use of Earth's spin to give their rockets a boost. Didn't understand that? We'll make it easier for you. Imagine you're on a merry-go-round and it's spinning. If you jump off while it's still moving, you get a little extra oomph, right? That's the idea. When space agencies send space vehicles to the International Space Station, they prefer to do it from locations that are close to the equator. This is exactly the reason why Florida is a popular launch site. By sending rockets in the same direction as Earth's spin, they get a speed boost and catch a ride on that spin. It helps these rockets zip into space more efficiently. But as we just saw, Earth's spin isn't the only motion we have in space. We're also revolving around the Sun at about 67,000 miles per hour, and so space agencies are not only tracking Earth's spin, but they're also navigating our speedy journey around the Sun to get their cosmic missions right. As you're listening to this statement, in this very second, you've already traveled about 14,990 kilometers. That's crazy. Feels totally unreal, right? Whether you're chilling on a couch or staring at the silent night sky, it's hard to grasp the incredible distance and speed at which you're cruising through space. But the reality is that everything in the universe is indeed moving and has always been moving. In about 4 billion years, our galaxy is planning to have a collision with its nearest neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. 
These two are rushing toward each other at a speed of 70 miles per second, which is 112 kilometers per second. Well, you don't really have to worry about that collision, though. It's quite unlikely humans would stick around until that time. And that concludes our cosmic journey through the vast distances in space right here on the Space Tech Gazette. If this journey ignited your curiosity, remember to like and comment on what your favorite part is of this beautiful story. Your support fuels our mission to bring you the latest news in space facts and technologies. If you want to know more about some of the most amazing space technologies out there, you can watch one of these videos next. And as always, keep gazing at the stars, for the cosmos is a boundless source of wonder.